The recipient of the award for engineering project or achievement is the hands-free mooring project developed by the St. Lawrence Seaway Management Corporation, represented by engineer Benoit Nollet, manager, corporate operations. The hands-free mooring system uses vacuum technology to secure vessels inside the locks. In 2005, we had an innovation campaign internally with our employees asking them to suggest things that they thought we could do to improve our operation and our efficiency. One employee suggested that we look at vacuum technology, which was being used at ferry terminals on the other side of the planet, and this is how we started to look at this as an option. Knowing that this technology was used in ferry terminals, we had to look at the basic functionality and how we could apply it to a lockage environment where vessels move up and down up to 14 meters at a time. The project was critical to the Seaway's sustainability. Uh, it is critical in lowering its operating costs, but also improving efficiency, safety, and uh, transit times. So the Seaway is, is widespread geographically, but there's two regions that are separate from each other. So each region had a, a regional team. Uh, so there was one team in the Montreal Lake Ontario area. There was another team for the Welland Canal here in the Ni Niagara area, and uh, there was a program group that was overseeing the uh, you know synchronicity of both and, and uniformity of execution. Well over 15 engineers were directly involved in the project throughout its different stages. Um, the uh, the project itself was uh, came to life as a result of an innovation campaign. So, and it, it tagged the hands-free mooring project as innovation, think outside of the box, and, and become a part of designing something new. As a result, we were able, through a lot of brainstorming sessions and consultation with the manufacturer, uh, able to design a product that was very robust out there on the logs. Well, the odds of succeeding were stacked against us. We had to bring electricity really close to the water. We had to have hydraulics work underwater. Uh, we had to be able to secure vessels that are up to 35,000 tons by using vacuum. Uh, more importantly, we had to do this in a way that was seamless to our customer. Uh, we didn't have the luxury of having a sandbox and, and doing some trials. We had to use it on live vessels and develop as we go. So in our project, our, our civil engineers had to make sure that these rails on either side of this uh, hole here uh, were solid enough to withstand the forces that the vessels put on the equipment. The electricity, uh, all of the uh, controls, as well as uh, the hydraulics had to be perfectly orchestrated so that we've got the right pressures, we've got the right vacuums, we, uh, we're pushing, pulling on the vessels the way it's supposed to. So very, uh, very challenging work that uh, was ahead of us. Uh, but as you can see, it works uh, great on the majority of the fleet that uh, goes through our system. Well, the approach of anything goes with the hands-free mooring uh, system led to a culture change within the Seaway in the sense that now there are more green belt teams put together and a culture of uh, continuous improvement to look at where else can we challenge the status quo and improve our efficiencies. For us, this, this project was a great accomplishment in the sense that it's the first place in the world where it's being used in a lock environment. So we're, we're very proud that what we were able to develop and accomplish. I'm most proud of the project because of uh, its success against all odds. Uh, it was met with a lot of resistance. Uh, it was common for us to hear, uh, this will never work, this is Mickey Mouse. Uh, yeah, the project was successful mainly because the team members invested themselves personally into making sure that the product and the solution that was deployed met the customer's expectations. But more importantly, you would expect this type of, of innovative aspect to the project to, to come out of consultant firms and, and so on. We're a not-for-profit corporation. It was, it was very rewarding to see that our young and older employees, engineers, were able to invest themselves and be able to carry this to completion very well. To recognize its pioneering technology, as well as its significant impact on improving safety and increasing competitiveness, the hands-free mooring project developed by the St. Lawrence Seaway Management Corporation is being recognized with the Ontario Professional Engineers Award for Engineering Project or Achievement.